This is a quick update YouTube on um, updating the Anytone 868-878 uh, with the contact database. The last time I did this was on uh, January the 12th, uh, 2020, and at that point, uh, as you can see on the screen, we had 154,230 contacts. I'm curious to see what it is now. Unfortunately, this is YouTube is uh, filmed during the COVID period in the March 2020, and my camera and microphone, etc., I've lent out to a friend so that they can uh, continue work and teleconferencing, etc. It is what it is. So, without further ado, um, we're going to go and try and obtain the contact database, uh, or at least the uh, the contact information from the website Radio ID. So, in Google, what can we do? Radio ID. Yes, this is the one, radioid.net. So on the URL bar, you could type radioid.net. This is what you get. Lots of information there, but the uh, the link that we want to follow is right central in the screen here and it's a database dump files and from here we want users CSV and if you've got Chrome like me it downloads in the bottom corner here um, just a case of opening it the file is a CSV file, so it's a comma separated value file, uh, Microsoft Excel. There are other utilities uh, free, such as LibreOffice, that will open this file. So here is our list, and uh, just for curiosity, let's whiz down the bottom and see how much that's uh, increased by from our original 154,230. She's still going, right, 158,000, no, sorry, 157,875. One of the things I want you to notice uh, in this, and I'll cover this in a different video afterwards, um, is that it has first name and last name. In uh, in the CPS of of the Anytone radio here, you only see name. So it's my belief that if you just use the raw data from RadioID.net, you're only going to get the first part of the name there, which is still useful. There's another process that I do, which is called concatenate. I'm not going to cover that here, but you can Google it. You can do that in Excel or Access. I prefer Access um, because sometimes I thin out these databases uh, for radios that don't have the capacity of the Anytone. And incidentally, if you don't have the capacity of the uh, Anytone on your particular radio, what you should do is filter down to USA, Canadian and UK. Sorry, that's, I'm kind of biased on that, but I'm in Canada, and more than likely the people I'm going to be speaking to are in the USA, Canada, or the UK. You might detect that from my uh, accent. Anyway, we're not going to cover concatenating here. So what do I do with the data that I just found? So here, uh, very firstly, I'd, I'd probably make it so that I can see the information uh, clearly. So 
So I know that the, the top line here with the information as downloaded from RadioID.net these field names do not match what the heat only expect. So I'm going to insert a couple of rows above there. And I'm going to go and find the fields that I actually need and I'm going to place them over here. So this is a sample um, actually that I took from the radio earlier uh, just to save myself time here you can export uh, what you have out of your radio to get these field names but what I'm interested in is this or to be more specific just this okay so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to move back to my other spreadsheet and I'm going to paste it up here why am I doing that you ask <laughs> the reason is because we want to manipulate the data that we have on the screen here into that same format and we can in import it into the radio uh, in a while okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to move these field names here individually across so that we confirm that we have them all and it's in the right order so we take radio ID, ID control X or we could right click it and cut um, cut here move over to the column A and paste And we're going to do the same here with call sign and name. You'll notice there's a last name column there and we don't have a last name field. That was the uh, concatenate part that I mentioned earlier. So we're going to continue with city, city, state, country, etc. Remarks, so we might as well take these three across together. Oh. Not what that's all about. However, you'll notice last name uh, field is not used, and we have call type and call alert empty. So at this stage, radio to display these IDs on the screen. Every uh, every cell in this column needs to be DMR, so that's what we're going to do. And now there's everything done that we need to there, and we have call type and call alert to tackle. So back on our uh, original sample here, call type is private call and call alert none. So I would copy those cells. I think we have to copy individually the words. Control C for copy. And this is going in call type. Control V. And call alert none. Control C. Not actually sure whether you need to do that or the radio will just. Uh, add those for you but it's the practice that I've been using so again we're going to uh, copy those through every row so select them control C to copy or edit copy uh, you can go here and just tap end and down bring you to the bottom and click there 
hold your finger on the shift key scroll right back up to the top click there and then control V to paste then down here again you can just do end and up it's a quick way to shoot to the top press the escape key to unselect there you are that's everything uh, as you need and now all you need to do is get rid of these two rows so that they they're retitled with the correct um, information at the top there so row two and three on the screen if you just uh, click in the cells there right click and press the delete and then the entire row there we go at this point you should save it in your own contacts 31st March 2020 and notice it's a CSV file so this is the location we're going to search for in a minute when importing the contacts so let's move to the Anytone CPS and from here we select tool import digital contact list and here is the CSV file we open that and click on import so there's our import complete which took about four minutes let's click on OK in the center of the screen there And if we select the, uh, the 1 to 20,000, we'll take a quick look at the, uh, the format, or the formatting, should I say. So yeah, everything looks like it's in the right place there. The only thing is that the name only displays the first part of the name, which is more than adequate for uh, what we need to do. If you want to do the full name, then you have to look at... Uh, another video I will knock up uh, shortly on the subject of concatenating so for now let's uh, just check there I think okay we're in the 140 to 160,000 area okay so from January the 12th, 2020, we had 154,230 contacts and now we have 157,874. All that remains now is to write this into the radio. I'm just going to do a quick check to see that the radio is connected, which I can do from here. Yes, COM3. Yours might not be COM3. And I can do program, write to radio. So to send just the contact list to the radio, you need to uncheck the other data. That will only send the contact list in and not the rest of your code plug. Click on OK. and then wait information to go into the radio go and make a cup of coffee and whilst you have time consider liking and subscribing to my channel thank you very much thanks for watching va3sii bye